to book number four, things began to go wild. Look, in the bayou, it's a catfish. No, it's a piro. No, it's crawfish man. Once in the world of superheroes, there came from the land called Sportsman's Paradise, a creature who was neither man nor beast. He had been unknown to the people of this land since his creation many years ago. But to the animals of the swamp, he has always been their hero. At last, this story can be told, for out of the swamp he comes to show his powers to all that would see. Behold, crawfish man! From the moss tile he is born, with powerful legs that let him leap over trees. An upper body of bulletproof crawfish shell, and a cape of moss used to tangle enemies. Antenna-like feelers hear things ten miles away, which no other superhero can do. Crawfish tail propels him underwater. Giant claws cut trees in two. Book number five, The Adventures of Crawfish Man. It all began one night back in 1978 after watching the new Incredible Hulk on TV. I said to my son that night, Louisiana should have its own superhero. I sat down, drew a man with a smile, claws, pointed head, and a C on his chest. The next day I took the drawing to my son's fourth grade class at Westminster Elementary in Baton Rouge where his classmates instructed me to put the C on his belt buckle, add muscles, remove the smile. Single most important lesson in 35 years. When you write for kids, ask kids for advice.